hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to bypass frp on android 8.0 this is a 2020 method um, this is a quite new method as well we won't be using the um top pack uh, method since of course it is not available on this phone and so i am doing the new method today um also keep in mind that you will need a sim card and um, as to why you need the sim card you know that later okay so first of all you need to connect to wi-fi you can see i have lte data right now but um, i'm not going to use my app but i am going to connect to wi-fi right so as you can see as the message by this message you can notice that my phone is uh, frb locked um, i either need to enter my pin that i previously used to lock my phone or my google account so either of these so probably for you may have forgotten those so if you have so just head back to your main screen where it says hi there and you're going to go over to emergency call and at this point you're supposed to have a sim card in your phone and then you're going to go over to emergency information then tap again and um, you're going to tap the pencil icon to edit and you're going to select add contact now this at this point you should have a sim card in the phone so on that sim card you're going to add a number um, a number that actually supports sms so a number typical number like this so you're going to select that and um, it's going to appear here on the emergency contact so now you're going to tap on that number again and you're going to select message so you're going to select sms right there might take some time to open up and you should be able to see text messages on there um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to tap the three dots up there more options and you're going to select help and feedback and from there you're going to select any of the messages you see any of the options and you're going to see the share icon you're going to tap on that and now you're going to see google go so you're going to select google go it will take you to google go or google whatever option you see as long as you see google selected and um, you select going to select use without google account okay and um, right about now you should see that we are on the google app all right so on here you're going to select any url any website so you're going to select like this one in my case if you see that you just selected and you're going to see this option down here which basically symbolizes more options you're going to select this and you're going to see open in browser select open in browser and just agree and continue so you see chrome open it up or whatever browser that you have as default on your device okay and um, now you are going to head to the link that i have in the description or on screen okay so this is the link that you have to visit okay so it should open up mega and you should see some files there that you will be able to download this is what will help us um, with assist us in bypassing this uh, frp lock so let's just wait for it to load up real quick all right and um, now you're going to open okay so first thing that we're going to install is the um, google account manager 8.0 so you're going to download that all right now you're going to select save file so allow chrome whatever permissions that are required and you're going to download okay so allow it to download and when it's done you're going to select open settings and allow Chrome to install. So you go into that, and then you go into select install. Okay, so when it's done, you're going to go back to download another app and going to install it immediately. And also keep in mind that your downloads are stored over here. So in future, if you need them, you just go over here to locate your downloads. Anyway, so you're going to select QSM, which is basically a quick shortcut maker. So you're going to select that and you're going to download. Okay. 
okay so right about now you're going to see that it's done so you're going to open it up now for those of you with samsung devices there's another file that you have to download and install so just ensure that you do that okay so i'm now going to open this up and what you're going to look for is google account manager right here and you're going to tap on it where you see a number of activities within the app so what you're going to look for is email and password type email and password right there so you're going to select that and you're going to tap try and then you're going to see more options right there which is the three dots so you're going to tap that and you're going to select browser sign up just tap ok and it should open up in the browser where you would be able to sign in so put in a google account or if you don't you're going to create a new one and then sign in and then we're going to head all the way back to setup wizard okay so i'm going to sign in now okay so it should be done so now what you're going to do is head all the way back to setup wizard so you're going to tap back several times until you get there Alright, so since you are back on the setup wizard screen, you're going to select start and until you see a message saying that an account has already been added, so you're going to do that. Okay, so you should see this message, you can see that the account has been added and you're going to continue. Okay, so from this point, you may or may not see a message. Um, if you see a message saying that you need to enter the owner's Google account again, all you have to do is reboot and this should solve the problem. But if you get to this point, then um, it should be fine. Okay, here is the message. This is the message I'm talking about. So what you're going to do is reboot. So we are back so let's continue all right so from here you are now going to select airplane mode so turn on airplane mode Alright, so setup complete as you can see we are now on our home screen. We have now completed. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up, share the video with others and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in another video. Have a good one.